for Enemies is back and we're under fire by all sides. Wait, you didn't tell me this. Everything was <laughs> fine when I sat down. You didn't tell me we were the under fire. The Frenemies are under fire. People are <laughs> criticizing our show. Did you know that? No, I did okay. not. Okay, first of all. <laughs> you didn't tell me this. I thought we were having like a fun reactive show. Well, we are, we are, but <clears throat> a few things came up and I was like, wow, they're coming for us. Ooh, Insi- first for of us? all, Insider wrote an article. Oh, they write an article like every day, though, on me, I feel. Do they really? They're always like, why do they? <laughs> why do they pretend like they're like a serious publication and then they go, hey, well, here it's called a podcast hosted by two of YouTube's most controversial personalities. First of all, you get that title. <laughs> are pretty hated and controversial. Why hated? Well, more controversial because your politics, like I don't even watch the H3, but it's like annoying and I don't even watch it. But I hear <laughs> about your politics just through TikTok, through whatever, and I'm just like, oh, okay, yeah. Really? And it's pretty controversial. You're pretty segregated. You're pretty much like... What? Who's more controversial? Huh? Who's between You. Us? No. Right now you're like, if you like Trump, you suck and must die. And I'm like, oh my God, like that's the way you guys come across. literally didn't say that. Not literally, but that's how you come across. And okay, I'm like, hold on, okay, hold on, hold on. Let's not segregate people. You know, like, you're president. Okay, one. what if let's not se- let's not segregate fascists out of our audience? That's what I'm saying. You're not okay. I'm not trying to get political on here. Obviously, this is fun. Wait, wait. Fun. I wanted to ask. I wanted to ask you. What do you think about the news of the MAGA riot at the Capitol? <laughs> Don't tell me you didn't hear about it. I. Saw it on Twitter. Uh huh. I don't know anything about it. That's good. Moses, did you? You guys didn't watch anything about it. Then you guys don't watch the news. Been too busy. Nah, what a luxury. It was my ovulation week, so. Oh, you were ovulating. Yeah. You guys were busy, huh? How busy can you be? I mean, wham, bam. <laughs> I mean, damn, dude. Um. <laughs> I saw something on Twitter, and I asked Moses about it when it happened. He's like, oh, I don't know. And then we just, like, let it go. <laughs> That's so nice. Um, I used to be like, I mean, I remember when I was, like, really younger, I felt that way about, I'm not saying that you're wrong. I mean, you can feel however you want. But I just remember when I was a kid and my parents would get all worked up about politics. And I'd be like, whatever. Nobody cares. And it's true. You know, yeah. nothing ever changes. But Trump is a fascist. And uh, not all of his supporters are fascist. But the ones that stormed the Capitol are Fascist but prior to that happening, you were very aggressive about people supporting Trump, and you're just like, you're an idiot. Well, yeah. Yeah, okay. You know I what accept mean? It's that. It's so controversial because, like, in general, I just try and be, like, inclusive of everybody, everything. I try. I understand. I understand. <laughs> I try, and people still want to hold it against me. I'm like, you know, I'm just trying my best over here. Okay, so we're back to the headline. We're two of YouTube's most controversial person- personalities, but I highly reject that I'm more controversial than you. I don't think you're more controversial. I think <clears throat> you're way people. more controversial than me. I think I used to be. I don't think can I, I, I get it back? Can I get it back up on that, Dan? Like when I said, Dan, I'm not controversial. He said, what? So apparently I am controversial, but between yeah, the I mean, two you're of definitely, us. Yeah, I mean, you're definitely, you're both controversial in very different ways. It's kind of apples and oranges. Though. What do I do? <laughs> Who am I? Why do I get that because label? You know what it All is? I am <laughs> is just trying to be myself. I'm a better controversial than you because I, everything I'm controversial for is on myself. I say I'm transgender, DID. You are like, you, you, you. And me, I'm like, oh, me, me, me. And everyone's like, oh. sure, oh. you never talk shit about anybody in your whole career. Who do I talk shit about? How about... The entire internet. James Charles, the Dixie family, uh, Gabby, Gabby Hanna. Because I'm with uh, you. You were talking shit about the, uh, Tyler Oakley the last time you were talking. I think it brings it out on this podcast because that's you. Oh, You're please. a shit talker, so I'm a shit talker with you. But in my personal life, I'm like, whatever. Oh, please. <laughs> okay, whatever. I don't know what it is about this podcast, though, though I do feel very confident to just shit talk people. <laughs> yeah, Whereas most if it was it was just me, I'd be more scared. But for some reason, when I have this microphone on this setting, I'm like, Watch Well, especially out. James Charles. This is the anti-James <laughs> Charles podcast. We need to say that again. I don't know. In 2021, Trish is kind of like, okay, James, we'll get you Okay, wait. Shot. I got to get back to this because <laughs> there's a whole... Okay, okay. What? I don't like 2021 Trish anymore. <laughs> I love everybody. I want to collab with James Charles. Yeah, he's never going to talk to you. You though. think maybe? Mm, you will never, never. You don't think he tagged you on TikTok? He despises you. 2021 Trish is new, though. Yeah, you didn't buy that. I don't buy 2021 Trish either. I'm supportive of James Charles now, so I don't Why are you leaving me in the trenches? I thought we were going to war with James Charles. I believe New Year knew everybody. I feel James could change. We could change. Really? Mm, I'm a different person now. What would I change about myself? Being fat. I'm working on it. Yeah, you're de- definitely Do I look skinnier there. than last episode? Um, you... L- I shaved, so I think 
that always makes me look fatter. Well, I also think you look skinnier because your hair has grown out. Like, you know, you were bald, so it made oh, you look. No. But also, you dress like a toddler. Last time you were dressed like a man, so you just looked svelte. Now you look. You had a hat on earlier that was horrible, and I wanted you to wear it. I wasn't going to tell you. I hope you did. You were going to wear it on the show so people would be like, oh, my God, why is he dressed like a toddler? But now you kind of look like Eminem, so you're kind of cool. You have like. A cool Why am I a toddler? I'm just wearing a T-shirt. <laughs> the hat and the T-shirt you had together. It was yeah, like, I agree. The hat was bad, and I took it off. All right. I like that you dress. You should try and dress. Maybe we could do an episode where we give each other makeovers. Maybe I could buy clothes for you and style your hair. And that's just. I mean, okay, but that's you doing a makeover for me because you could give me a makeover. What would I do? You're Put already me in Teddy Fresh. Out. <laughs> no, but I'll take a makeover. Uh, can I make you over? Yeah. That'd be cool. I like a cool one, like a real one. Let's do it. Okay. Really? You did, but you did, aren't you just going to turn me into like a drag queen? No, that's what you want. <laughs> I think okay. that's your fantasy. <laughs> no, it's not my fantasy. Really? Because okay. you really love being the other oh, gender. Here we go me. again. You pick one guy except for Uncle Fester, which you did look just like. Thank you. Jeffrey. J Jeffrey and James Charles. Okay, but they're... <laughs> yeah, but they're... Yeah, shut up, Dan. Oh, my God. All right, let's move on past this. <laughs> so, anyway... <laughs> my only communication with you this week was a text like, did Jeffrey really sleep with Kanye? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> like, when you texted me that, I'm like, how would I know that? Why would somebody I know Somebody was that? like... Uh, somebody, for some reason, was like, Trisha probably has some intel on it. No. <laughs> it was so weird when you texted me. I felt like a like a fan texting me. I'm like, who is this? And I was like, oh my god, it's Ethan texting Why are you me. so sensitive? Just answer the question. <laughs> I'm not sensitive. I'm like, but that's the only communication I get from you all week is is the thing with so You want me to communicate? I don't know what you want from me. You want me to communicate? You don't want me to communicate. Maybe you communi text me too much. You don't text me enough. What am I? <laughs> I'm not your boyfriend or your fiance. I don't have to deal with this shit. <laughs> You're my co-host, though. You're the co-host. Text me. You never text me. Uh, you never initiate conversations with me. That's true. Okay, so. All right. Whatever. Whatever. All right, can I read the headline, can please? Can I ask where I'm supposed to look? Because people always know that I'm looking at myself. Where do you look? Where am I supposed to look if not the monitors? Well, the camera's above the monitors. You oh. look at the camera? Sometimes. Okay. It's hard not to look at the monitor. I agree. I, I, just, mean. I look at myself. But we know you're a narcissist, and you said you look bomb today, so you're going to want to look at yourself. I look bomb on this side. I have really bad acne on this side, so it's, I'll just keep profile. Okay, what is, what is this headline? Can I read the headline, please? Yeah. But podcast, so we, uh, uh, Frenemies is under attack. That's going to be the title. It's going to be really good. Frenemies is under attack? Okay, I like that. It's are we true, though. though. It's are we true. Actually? Oh. Most two of YouTube's most controversial personalities is creating new conversations about mental health. That sounds good, right? But I don't like being a poster child for, like, mental health. All of a sudden, it's like BPD and mental It's just like... Uh, I agree. I don't like it either. We're just two friends doing a podcast. I, I did watch your H3 Live a little bit about someone saying, like... I just hate that that's what it's about. Like, how dare he collab with a girl with a mental health issues? It's not like I killed somebody and I should be, like, locked in prison forever. Like Also, the insinu— Well, the insinuation is, like, that you don't have your own agency, that you're not your own adult making your own choices. Like, <laughs> Ethan is exploiting Trisha. It's like, she, well, well, no— Trisha is an adult who makes her own choices, and we're just two friends making a podcast. You're exploiting me because I have, like— something wrong in my brain so yeah. as if, if i don't you, know that you're doing like that what we're doing like i know how i am on the internet like right. that's my life that's my right life. good point it's your brand yeah and i'm like if i have to deal with it i might as well monetize off of it you know what i'm saying but also like i keep saying i love this show <laughs> like everyone just like stop the podcast i'm like please don't stop this podcast it's all i got going <laughs> well let, let me read you what they said that's so oh i hate that i'm like this person and that our show is like mental health awareness it's like why it's just not the yeah i don't know why not case uh let's see eth klein who pokes and antagonizes her appears True. ill yes. ill equipped <laughs> to deal with her fluctuating mood swings again this is a criticism <laughs> i've gotten from several people oh. i'm not a clinical therapist <laughs> i'm not equipped in any way to deal with anything <laughs> we're just two friends doing a podcast this isn't therapy i don't know what people want i'm ill equipped <laughs> to deal with her fluctuating mood swings like hello who is it who i'm not i'm just a guy <laughs> i feel like i know i feel like i'm like someone that needs a caregiver or something because everyone's like he's not equipped to deal with like i'm not that bad i've had like but also i don't <laughs> handle it that bad either it's not like i'm like well fuck you and <laughs> we can't do it and i'm flipping the desk they make it sound so bad you know i, I don't i think we've handling it well i'm okay i mean i'm fine with it actually because people actually are tend to be more sympathetic towards me seeing yeah, an actual I'm, outburst so well, it's i'm like mm -hmm. i agree and i and that's another reason why i think it's good is because that shit's real. It humanized you in a way, and it made me understand you in a way I didn't. And I think that's good. 
And I got me a follow from Dr. Drew on Twitter. Watch out, Moses. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, here's another one. Viewers and mental health professionals alike, mental health professionals, <laughs> who are are unsure whether the podcast is good or bad for mental health representation. On one hand, it's incredibly rare to view such raw conversations about mental illness. On the other, it could be considered exploitative. I I just don't know why we became like the, I just don't want to be that. Like I don't want my identity to be BPD. Like I follow a lot of TikTokers, that's all they talk about and that's cool, but it's also like, ugh. it's like being the fat girl. Like I don't want to be the fat girl, I don't well, want to be the crazy like, girl. I don't want to like, be the dude with Tourette's either. Yeah, but I feel like you you're not because people don't make like a big deal of it. Well, I don't. Yeah, and well, it's like you could talk about it and do the whole thing, which is fine. I'm not criticizing, but <laughs> the point is, they just want clicks. They're just they're being. It's like how well, first of all, and another point that this guy uh, D'Angelo Wallace, who by the way I like and I watch his videos, and I he's a fr and he's friend of the show. Love D'Angelo Wallace. Not this show. He's I think. Friends of H3, maybe, podcast. Yeah, not this show, but he's... Not frenemies. Not, the, on the black side of this desk, there's friendship. Okay. The pink side, I can't talk about. Right. Yeah. There's a line in the sand I here. would say we hate D'Angelo Wallace on the pink side. Okay. We lo we love him on the black side. And we hate him on the pink <laughs> side. I like that there's a line in the sand. I hate that people consider someone, like, credible just because they have, like, a long video with, like, you know, edit cool editing. It's like, eh, this okay. person's just, like, a random person that highlights. It's just, like, any propaganda. Like, I'm going to show you all the negative stuff. Okay, wait. Positive. You're talking about the, like, our long <sighs> video he made. Can I be honest? I actually, I never watched it. I just yeah. saw the, like, clips on your H3 Live from him. Yeah. And oh, well, like, mm -hmm. so I was going to pull. Let's, let's, let's not stray too far from the path, but... At any rate, he does make a point. Mm. He he echoes a lot of these points. That says like it's exploitative, and so and that uh, he he also said that jealous. people are just jealous that they that they nobody cares about their shitty shows and shitty content. You know what I mean? Like I hate people like this. Like Anna Nicole, I remember her on a reality show. Some girl comes up to her and goes, "You know, they're just like using you, right?" And she's like, "I don't care as long as I get paid." And like yeah, like this is our lives. Like what are you? We're not supposed to have a career. Well, Could you imagine BPT and like Target? If I was a, I was a Target employee, and guess what? Mm. I got fired because I was paranoid i literally thought that everyone was like literally trying to kill me inside of target i worked really? in the electronics department in marietta california when i was 18 years old and i thought everyone was trying to murder me including my manager of the electronics department and i got fired so like at least i'm given this platform where i can make better money than flourish. working at target yeah so but wait so you i didn't know paranoia was a symptom of i think that's i told you i think i might be schizo i don't think so um there was par we looked up bpt the other day there is paranoia yeah i don't think you're schizo but um I mean, I'm paranoid hmm. of everything for sure. I think Moses is trying to poison me. In fact, you know what I do when <laughs> oh, we God. when I make food for him? I take a bite of mine. He takes a bite of his. I'm like, you want to switch to make sure that I didn't poison this food? And that's what we do Damn, now. Damn, that's quite a relation. That's quite a, yeah, I know. And which, well, by the way, is a horrible movie. We He made me watch what? it on Saturday. I love that movie. Oh, it's so bad. He kept talking about it. He's like, you're going to love it. I'm like, I know I'm not going to You know what's it. so it's weird, awful. Moses? I do that to Hila, and she <laughs> reacts the same way Trisha does. I always go, Hila, watch Princess Bride, and she goes, I fucking hate it. Oh, really? Isn't that so weird? It's awful. I don't think it's a it's girl's not. movie. I don't think it it's like... It is a girl's movie. It's like a chick flick. No, they try so hard to be funny. It's like not... Okay, can we focus, the please? The Inconceivable Guy, I'm like, please just stop this movie right now. I kept trying to, like, postpone it. Anyway, was, yeah. Did you watch it more or less of the amount that you watched Schindler's List? We made it through Princess Bride, although I was on my TikTok, so. Oh, you watched it, but you were on TikTok. Yeah, because nice. I just didn't care anymore. The movie switched halfway through. I hate when that happens. <laughs> okay, hopeless. but anyway, D'Angelo said a lot of the same things. He said a lot of nice things about both of us, so I don't want to make it seem like he didn't say nice things about us. But what he said is, um, here, let me pull it up. We can watch. We're going to watch it? Yeah, it's a clip. Timestamp. Why are people haters? This is like a fun show. He's not. E this is Ethan's podcast as well. I think he plays a huge part in this. Yes, like I said, I truly believe that he does his best to manage Trisha Paytas and her outbursts. But it's like once they happen, he's really happy to profit off of them, basically. Making podcast <laughs> highlights out of her breakdowns. The show, in some way, is kind of dependent on, ooh, is Trisha going to have a breakdown this week? So that, that point, oh. first of all, I highly disagreed with because... We've had two big breakdowns on the show. Yeah. And I do not like when that happens. Our, I hate I, it. And by the way, our episodes without breakdowns do great. Mm. It's not like nobody watches when there's no breakdown. Yeah. Our Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader one is just as much as me storming out. 
And our steamies did really good. Yeah, so... <clears throat> Every episode we've done. So so that point I, I strongly disagree with, you know. Now, he, he, he made maybe his point about being exploitative in terms of the highlights. Was kind of... I was like, okay, I do do highlights of that. But my, my counter-argument to that is that... Um, if we're not going to put it up, somebody is. Oh, he posted a response to us. What the F? <laughs> this video goes deep. Oh, I hate people like this, though. Wait, you put my DMs to him in the thumbnail. What the F? <gasps> Are those, you really DM'd yeah. him? Yeah. I, I was like, yo, what? He put my, uh, what the F? Oh. <clears throat> I told him, he's I'm going to watch your goblin. Shane video tonight. I'll report back. I hate that we're even talking about him, though, because he's just so, like, not important and not entertaining and he's just getting like a few well, bucks off of like <clears throat> ugh, like I hate talking about drama channels because they're so not original or funny or anything like I like funny. D'Angelo his videos are very good that being said um I'd rather suck Philip DeFranco's left teeth than watch this video his left tit <laughs> or yeah. teeth I thought you said tooth I was like what the hell yeah I was like I just Philip DeFranco well, is more my, entertaining my this guy. point is that um, we're under fire and people are um, we're under fire and I feel like we better address it now because of what because I have Before a mental illness canceled. and you're my friend don't yeah, be exactly. friends with I anyone feel, with a mental I, illness that's what I think too thank <laughs> you said, even Dr. Drew when he was here and I was like yeah I don't deserve most I shouldn't be in a relationship he goes no like don't say that because like you're worthy of a normal life just because you have something wrong with you oh my god like I didn't kill anybody my goodness yeah, they like infantile. They make you like, uh, what's the word? Infantile, infantile, or they they make it seem like you can, you don't have any agency or choice in your life, or and that it's up to me to say no, Trisha, this isn't acceptable <laughs> because I'll be exploiting you. Yeah, to do why this are they looking together. at you as like this god? Because you're just as messed up as me. I mean, you got Tourette's. Yeah, I agree. It's also is that a mental illness? It's not a mental illness. What is it? A physical disability? Uh, it's a dis. It's a syndrome. I don't know. So you got something like wrong OCD. with your brain it's like too. OCD. So your brain is not wired all the way, right? What? Yes. Okay. So my point is, <laughs> it's like blind my, leading the blind. Like you're not. You yes, don't see it's clear. the blind leading the blind. Damn. But why are you so much better than me when well, you are I, also like? I think that to well. You're the one having that outburst, I guess. And so they say Ethan's exploiting her. The show depends on her having outbursts. It's all not true, though. That's I mean, all I'm I want to say. I'm down for another outburst if it happens, but not with you, hopefully. You know, maybe something else will provoke me. Really? Like what? <laughs> we just go into what do you all the drama. Say? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's outburst. No, I'm kidding. You weren't even know. awake, and I was 15 minutes late today, and then Dan's like, oh, Ethan's not even up yet. I was like... Is this an outburst? Are you going for the outburst? <laughs> yeah, I know. No. That's true. I Sometimes when I watched it, I didn't watch H3 Live a lot, but when I watched it this last week when you were talking about me, I, I, I just really wanted to talk. I had an outburst. That's why I texted you guys during the show, because I was like... I had a lot to say, but then I had like... I like kept deleting it. I was like, okay, now let me just like not be so crazy on the thing. Why? Were you criticizing me? I think... I think I do in the moment because I always think that you're on the I'm on the defense with you when you were actually on my side and I'm, I'm always like, oh. on your side always right right you don't believe <laughs> it that's fine I mean yeah. but like but uh, anyway so um that's what I was just want to say is that we are under attack I gotta watch that video of his. Was it just the insider and D'Angelo? Yeah, it was just them. Wait, but that's, that's how. It? But that's how it starts. Don't you see? Those are two big sources saying that mm. they want to cancel our show. They want to cancel it. Well, there yeah. was a really nice and, one. And I'm just saying that's how it begins. Then all of a sudden it becomes this talking point, and then this person's making a video about <laughs> frenemies. Is this and that? No, there was a really nice one. I'm getting right? a call from a scam. Should I answer it? Uh, yeah, it's from a scam. Hold on, I'm answering it. Hello. Hello? Hi, is this scam likely? <laughs> um, anyways, that was great. Uh, this channel called Psych in Real Life, they did How Frenemies Reveals a Mental Health Misconception per Perpetuated by the Internet. This was a really good one. This was someone who was like in our favor. Some people are in our favor that we show the ugly side of BBT. They're like, you know what? Everyone's a mental health advocate until it's ugly. Mm -hmm. And so I kind agree with that because everyone thinks it's like cool and trendy to be like mental health awareness eh. but then as soon for as sure. someone has like an outburst like why are you friends with her why are you doing the show you're manipulating you're exploring like all this stuff like that it's like me like you know i agree and i'm like yeah also that same person did the fall of h3 h3 <laughs> so, no, fuck them. <laughs> it's the same wait psych rl why is psych irl making 
They videos love- about the fall of people. Well, they liked us. Well, I'm still here, bitch. That video was two years ago, and I'm still here, so fuck you, Psych RL. No, she was on our side in front of me. She was yeah, well, two years ago, she was fucking tap dancing on my grave, <laughs> bitch. You turned it around, though. Um- <laughs> Sorry. I didn't know she was a, she's a female. Yeah, yeah, I shouldn't have said the B word. <laughs> you said it right after the last time. I know. Time, I'm too. sorry. I did a whole thing about how um, I don't want to say it, and then. Yeah. All right. Well, so you want to move on to the? Okay, that's it. Oh, um, sure, we could talk I about it more. Really oh, I really love this job. Please stop trying to cancel us. And <laughs> I love it too. <laughs> like, stop. Like, you know, like that's a th- but here this time last year everyone was criticizing me for not having a mental disorder and now it's like oh just a mental uh, disorder should that's be canceled. Funny. it's yeah. like oh, what the fuck am i crazy am i not crazy like huh. what is it that's a really good observation Do you remember when everyone came for me and now everyone's yeah. like wow like don't be friends with her why is she on the show you're exploiting her it's like oh the fuck that's a really interesting point so <laughs> Pick back one. the fuck off <laughs> let us just do our thing not? we're just two friends doing it you know i mean what the fuck <laughs> i mean in D'Angelo's defense a little bit, yeah. he he made it clear in that video that he is a fan. He's watched every oh. episode. Yeah. He's watched oh. every episode of the show. and he, he was very nice. And he said, Trisha, he said, you're <laughs> hilarious on this show. Like, he He's, had, he had yeah. positive things That's to say. That's what I'm saying. He said lots of good things. And he was very kind but to you. But then said, why are you doing a show with her? You're explaining He did her. say, on the other hand, that Ethan's even funnier than Trisha on the show. Well, <laughs> then right away, discredited. He said that, so... <laughs> He is Just not FYI. a credible source. Kind of left that part like I out even, from the beginning. But yeah. I can't wait to watch his video. I should wait till um I think you're funnier, but I definitely am more entertaining. I think you are so fun. Sometimes I watch the episodes back and and I don't catch exactly the stuff you're saying in the moment and I'm like Cuz you don't listen to me. I listen to everything you're saying, but it's like a fast-paced conversation. I don't have time to process everything. Um Thank you. But you're you are very very funny, and sometimes I'm like, wow, round of applause, for Patricia. <laughs> very funny. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Are you more entertaining? Yeah. Yeah. You're like a uh, the whole triple threat. Yeah, I think if we like had a reality show, like who would get the reality? Oh show? yeah, you. There's nothing good about my reality. <laughs> There's it is not. Well, no, it's good. It's just not. It's just boring, but it's good. It's peaceful. It's loving. Yeah, for a show, it's nothing to watch. Right, for but sure. But you would make a great reality show. Um, I would never do it. Unless Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Let me know. Yeah, but Mo- I don't think Moses is posh enough to be a. Uh, because you have to be like. A no, housewife. that's so not even true. They're not even that posh on that show. Like really? Vicky Gumbelson, the girl from Orange County, she literally has like no money. They rent a condo. No offense to anyone who rents a condo, but like. So why she, is she on the show? Uh, that's the thing. A lot of them are fake bougie. This really? other guy named Slade was on it, had no money. Like, it's, you know, they're fake bougie, but it's fine. They I can't mean. find real bougie people in all of L.A. to be on that show? I mean, they have, like, Lisa Rinna. You would fuck, you would destroy that show. You put all those girls in their place. And, no, they're, like, old women. No offense. Yeah, break them. I'd be young on that show. I'd be 32. I'd be the young one. <laughs> okay, you said you are leaving TikTok and apologizing, and then you were back. What happened? Okay, guys, Here's, I'm leaving that for real. I'm leaving social media. It's a really toxic place, and I wish you all well, and... Um, I want to apologize to Charlie Dixon. Why Gibbs. did you make this video and um, why did you film it like you're in a tent fort? I was naked and Moses was also next to me and I didn't want him in the TikTok. So I was like, let me just cover my whole body and just show my eyes. Just forehead. Um, I wanted to apologize to Charlie Oh, because it's 2021? Yeah. But you're still on social media. You like didn't even. Well, that was like troll Trish, but that was like oh. a, a not harm. Like when people like take that seriously, because I did like four saying I'm quitting. And I'm like, how are they still taking that seriously? Okay, okay. Fair you enough. You know what I mean? Fair enough. And then what was this one really caught my attention on Instagram? You posted picture of groceries. Ugh. You posted a picture of Skippy, extra crunchy. Single, craft, single, American. Yeah. LaCroix, pure, sparkling water. Yeah. Uh, bread. Just the bottom part where it says visit. The Capri Sun, fruit punch. Uh, tater tots. Tater tots. And butter. butter. Oh, well, that was more for you. <laughs> Why? Because I wanted to, like, make grilled cheese this episode. I thought that'd be fun, but. You posted this as a weird subliminal way of communicating with me? Yeah. I thought maybe you what? would see it because you DM'd me and said, "Oh, you don't follow me." And I saw why you. Why do you? Me, so. Why do you communicate so cryptically? Because I thought you would pick it up. Like you pick up stuff like that. I'm, how is this grill? How does this even mean grilled cheese? Hold on, hold on, hold up. Why is there peanut butter with the grilled cheese? You put peanut butter on one side, butter on the other, and then the cheese in the middle. If you want me to think peanut butter, yeah. if you want me to think grilled cheese, why would you start with peanut butter? 
That's like a horrible. Oh, that gets your attention though, didn't it? You scrolled through. Yeah, I was like, what? I thought you did this by mistake or something. No, I thought maybe you might get the ingredients because we didn't have. We had the ingredients. Wow, this is this is the biggest shit post ever on in Instagram history. Why? Because you're like, you're just posting pictures of groceries in the hope that I see it and understand you want to make grilled cheese. I thought you might because you DM me prior saying, oh, I'm following you now. Like, you don't follow me. And I was like, okay, I'll follow you. I responded, girl, what? I was so excited. Wasn't I excited when he did that too? Because I was like, this was for Ethan. And he responded. So I thought you got it. I okay, thought but it was, the, I was this is not good. You, you led with peanut butter. That That doesn't make any sense, Trisha. Okay, we have peanut butter and Kraft. Okay, so Kraft is... And then you go LaCroix, which it does nothing to do. Why would you do LaCroix? Because the pure one goes with the grilled cheese. It pairs nicely. I can't even see that it's paired. It just shows the top. Pure. No, it pairs nicely with a grilled cheese. Pure? Pairs. Like, you know how it you says pair pure. wine This isn't steak? pear. This one isn't pear flavored. Oh, my God. It's not. It's... It pairs with... I know, but... Oh and it's pure. The pure oh, pairs well with the It's just the soda cheese. water. Exactly. You don't want lemon with grilled cheese. You really think I'm psychic? White Vandy Camp. I loved our mukbang episode. Why Caprice? Oh, my God. And then why the tater tot? It goes with grilled cheese. Dude, you really... That's incredible. I thought maybe you would, like, get the hint and we would do it. Oh, can the we sh- redo no. Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? But can we do, like, pop culture trivia? Sure. Because I feel like I need to, like, I feel, ever since that episode, I feel really bad that I lost. Like, I've never lost. Well, I, I, I never lose. I never really lose good. anything. It was really good. I think everyone was really impressed. It wasn't fair, though, because the, anyways, we can keep going. But I rewatched that episode, and I was like, oh, my God. Like, they need to redo it, because. I'd love to redo it. It was a Should hit. we each bring in, like, $4,000 cash? Oh, and, put like, it on the table. It. But no, shit. we start with, like, 2000 and then we could do double or nothing. Whoever, like, wins, like, could double or nothing, and then you go $4,000 cash will be the winner. I think you just got to put it on the table, and the winner takes all. No, you should do, like, best three, like, win, and then if, like, the winner can say, like, double or nothing, because that's more exciting. Because the loser can redeem himself. Anyways, I love trivia. I'm so good at trivia games. Not as good as me. That is not. Tr- I'm trying to find where. Uh, oh. I think we went to college. Here it is. Oh, did you see Noah Beck? What else are we talking about? Okay, so we're going to watch all your TV appearances. Okay. I love this. Yeah, this I thought you would like it. I hope you will like this episode. This one feels kind of bad. Well, there's not as much prep. I mean, the stream, okay. the steamies happen. Here, we're just kind of trying to do an episode. I mean, what, you want to talk about something else? No, I love watching myself. Frenemies but... is under attack. What don't you understand about that? <laughs> we didn't go very hard for anybody. We're just like, okay. Hi, Shredder. All right, you were on Ellen. What do you do? I read. Okay. <laughs> Did so any? Uh, did any? Cringy, actually. I hate. I, I, like, if anyone can tell you, like, I hate watching myself on TV, especially this era of trash. I'm so cringy. Did any Ellen producer try to grope you or anything? <laughs> no, no, they were all gay. Oh, they were. Ellen is a bitch. Really? Yeah. I could tell. She's, but when all that stuff started coming out, I was like, that makes sense because she was so awful like literally really? would not talk they tell her don't look in her eye and then I would, they told you that yeah they're like don't look in her eyes that. don't touch her so in this clip i say oh i'm not supposed to touch you because i go like this and i'm like oh i'm not supposed to touch you like you hear me saying it because before they're like don't oh and they think her. you're a weirdo but they're the weirdo yeah they're like if you touch her you'll be escorted off like mid-show we don't care i was like okay and then i touched her on that like, what oh, a no. diva. You're just Ellen. You're just a TV host. You're not the fucking queen. I know. I was so nervous. Wait, I, I didn't. Okay, this. See, this is great. I'm glad we're doing this. <laughs> I read kind of fast, you know? Like, yeah. Oh, you read. That's your. your I read. Don't like people hell. hug her and but stuff? What do you do for there? Oh, Maybe I, like I, audience I members. Uh huh. Okay. We were pre picked. Okay. All right. Kyle, <laughs> you're so happy, aren't you? You're so pretty. It's uh, like looking at a mirror. Yeah. yeah. Hey, cringy. <laughs> You're like looking in a mirror. Did you rehearse that line? Um, no. You know, whenever I go on these shows, especially when I was younger, this is what I'm talking about, the blackout. I don't remember anything. Like when mm. people ask me how, like I don't remember saying any of this. It's, that's why it's cringy to watch. Like even like America's Not Talent, like all that stuff is so cringy. You're so watch. young. I thought I thought yeah. you're doing really well though. It's like 22. It's funny. Well, th- th- they found me on YouTube, so like this, they act like they picked you from the audience, but you're you're not. They just like, uh, contact you from YouTube. We did you get- touch her, or it didn't happen yet? It's right here. See, I'm touching her right okay, now. Okay, let's see. You're fantastic. All right. I should um, touch you. you said I shouldn't touch really you. Fast. Yeah, I need a book or something. Okay. I, I have a. I have. Ew, oh, this is so cringe. Right okay, you can read my book. All right. <laughs> should I should I hold this for you? Um. Oh, your mic. Okay, great. <laughs> All right. Okay. 
Ew. Stepping on a spider has to be the scariest thing in the world. Actually, you know what would be scarier if after putting on the one shoe, I recklessly put my foot in the other one and discovered that I was teaming with hundreds of spiders. All the babies were in there. A whole let's see. It's a cat, goose key, school of fish. What is a group of spiders called? Oh, no, I remember a whole stock of spiders. That would be the scariest thing ever. I'll tell you, you're camping out in the woods or not even camping or even in the woods. You're sleeping in your bed. This is so I weird. Know, you like the great outdoors. Look at everyone clapping for me. <laughs> you go, go. Read. <laughs> Faster. <laughs> This is so weird. But you are, you're, you're, you're such a comedian with your timing and everything. You think? Yeah, you go, this is the scary part. And then oh, okay. you speed Thank up you. again. Um, it's super cringe. I don't know. Like, this was back in, like, this was before, like, Instagram. This was, like, 2009, like, nine, so maybe when Instagram first started. And, like, I just wanted to be famous, you know? Now it's so easy with, like, TikTok and all that stuff to go viral. But, like, mm. I just wanted to be, like, I, my thought was if I go on all these shows, someone will discover me. Like, I thought Ellen was going to discover me and I was going to be, like, a co-host of hers. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. <laughs> like, that was my Yeah, she's process. like, don't look at her. Don't <laughs> touch her. We're going to be co-hosts someday. I, well, that's your theory. Like, even America's Got Talent, I thought, oh, like, Howard Stern's going to love me. He's going to ask me to be on the show as a I mean, it's picture. pretty epic that you were on all these. Yeah, I tried, you know. So how did you get on the show? YouTube. They just found, I had a, oh, I they had reached a speed out to rating. Oh, hmm. the shows did. America's Got Talent reached out to me. Like, Guinness. Like, they all worked out. Hmm. Is it Guinness? Yeah, Guinness World Record. This is my thing out of the way. It's not possible to get any scarier than that. Wow! And they slow it down too, so you can like hear that I said I messed up once. Oh. Names and pseudonyms. Forty-five seconds on the clock, please. <laughs> the f- what is this? This is trivia, David Arquette. Okay. Wait, isn't oh, this? This um, looks recent. No, was it was like four years ago. Uh, Bruce Lee. Yeah, no, um, oh, uh, she has a talk show host, Big Black Lady. You're just a contestant, huh? You're just a contestant. Yeah, me and my mom. So it was like a celebrity name game. So it was like you had to go on with a partner, and so me and my mom. You're had- the celebrity. No, David Arquette's a celebrity. Oh, well, why are you there? <laughs> so you get paired with a celebrity, and it's all pop culture, which we killed this. We won. We beat the other team. Um, I'm really good. So, like, pop culture, and Craig Ferguson was the host. It was a fun show. You got Dude, real David money. Arquette, I got to tell I think you're Dave, David Arquette. Maybe man. back then he was more relevant. You're more famous than David Arquette. Oh, you should be you. You should be on your panel. You should have said that. David Arquette was never that nice to me. I met him a, new, a couple times, and he never, really? never liked me. Seems like there's a common thread that all these people are not nice to you. Are they really not nice to you? David Arquette more had no, because some people are really nice. Quentin mm. Tarantino's nice. Eminem's really nice. Like there's people who are like overtly nice. Um, David Arquette seemed annoyed with me every time I met him, like a few times. Hmm. Yeah. Fuck him. <laughs> Calling him out right now. We can have. Well, no. David Arquette, <laughs> if you're watching and listening. We're calling you out. Courtney Cox is very cold. She's definitely one like, don't touch me. But so she's also playing with us. Oh, she is? Yeah. Oh, um, he was in the dragon, the yellow suit. Uh, Did you win money yeah. or something? Yeah. yeah. Um, How much you oh, get? Uh, 8,000. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, for one for no, she's not a princess, but a queen like Jane Okay. Um, t- oh, um, she was a blonde bombshell in the 50s. She's. Uh, Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. Oh, wow, you're really good at this. Oh, Thanks. He sings the grenade song, the little one, the little grenade song. Oh, I little thought boy, he is little. No, um, He's sm- <laughs> you're like the little one. Bruno Mars. Okay. Um, okay. Oh. Basketball player, really tall. He was like an actor too. He was Damn. Awesome. Damn. He's awesome. Oh, gothic, gothic. All the face paints. I love hair. Dude, you are he- <laughs> freaking good at this. Okay. Thanks. I don't even know who that is. Oh. Yeah, I didn't either. Or that. I'm laughing on these shows. It's like David Dobrik vlogs. It's so fun to watch you play as well. What the fuck? Like Hashtag me too. Why is he commenting on watching me play? Really? Like he's being nice. Come on. <laughs> no, he said he's fun to watch you play. Because you're so energetic. Oh, okay, I took it out. I don't, I don't think. He wanted a fuck. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think that's what he meant. And I thought in that show too, I thought, oh, Craig Ferguson will probably have me on as a guest. My dream in life was to always be like a talk show guest. You know, I used to like pretend. Did you ever do that? I feel like a lot of people did. A talk you, show guest. Yeah, like where you're interviewed by like uh, like Jay Leno. When oh, I like you sit in. You're the interviewer. You're like, oh, thanks yeah. so much for having no, me. I, this is really great. I actually don't. Actually, you I, never fantasize that. No, and and I really never want to go on a show like that because it's just so nerve wracking. I hate it. Really? Oh, I yeah, love I don't it. like it because you're sitting there and you have to be funny, and then everybody's watching you and everyone's, you know what I mean? And it's like short. Yeah. I think I would have liked it in like the 90s when like you could be like sexually harassed by David Letterman. Like I right. loved those. He's interviews. like, come here, girl. Yeah, let me, yeah. Let me it. yeah it's <laughs> but now crazy. you can't do that. Those old ones are like, here, come here, girl. Let me slap your titties. <laughs> no, they totally did. Remember Johnny Carson did that with Dolly Parton? He like squeezed her tits. <laughs> he 
Really? Yeah, he's like, can I feel him? Here, can I, I punch like, you in the tits? Or Pamela Anderson, too. She got sexually harassed a lot by, like, Jay Leno and David Letterman. They were always saying, like, about her, like, sucking dick. And I was like, oh, that's what? cool. Yeah. Hey, the fucking, the, por- <laughs> por- the pork boys did that to you on the BFFs Who's podcast. The pork boys? Pork boys. The pork, pork boy. David Portney. David Portney, if you, if you want me back, I'll come on your show again. <laughs> I liked him. I thought he was cool. What? They were so rude to you. Anyway, you think? Thought, I don't yeah. know. I didn't, get, I didn't get that vibe. I guess it's the same way people think you're exploitative. I think from the outside, maybe people see it differently. I don't know. No, he he is exploitive. He's rude, and he's an enemy of the show. No, that's D'Angelo. No, you like you have a condom on your head. <laughs> D'Angelo is a friend of the show. No, he's not. Here, let's watch. <laughs> oh, this is really cringe. This is like I can't watch this with anybody. My name is Tisha Paytas. I am 23 years old. Yeah, I've never tried out before because I never liked to be with judges. But I saw him, like, that's uh. my boyfriend. Oh, that's your boyfriend? I just want to look at his beauty. He's just so beautiful. Now, do you love these? Do you really love these people? Or are you just because I feel like you don't really like oh. Ellen? Oh, Ellen, but I never said I was a fan of Ellen. Well, okay, because you act and like you're like, I gave you a beer. I love you. And no, you're no. so beautiful. Howard Stern, I'm a huge fan of. Like, because that's why I am the way I am. Like, he had a show on E where like girls were naked at like midnight. Yeah. And I was like, I want to be that girl because he thought they were so like he wanted to fuck all these girls. I'm like, I want to, you know, so like to me, mm. he was like the epitome. Like I was like, oh, I want to meet Howard Stern. He's another one I thought maybe would leave his wife for me. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Trisha. I love your I love your uh, your ambition. I was but I'm like dead serious when I say that. Like I literally thought, oh, he looks at me like he probably will leave Beth. Oh my goodness. But then the next day he literally came for me and said, She looks like Pamela Anderson if she would lose 40 pounds. I was like, eee. That's brutal. (laughs) Especially by someone you love. But he was, but I think I think he's definitely sticky. Kind of a compliment though. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. yeah, Because he thought Pamela Anderson was like the sexiest girl, like for in the 90s. He like loved Pamela. Um, but I think it's a shtick because like, you know, when I met him, like because after the show, I got to like talk to him more. And he was like so so nice like yeah. so like unbelievably nice like i was like wow why are you so nice to me and like nicer than howie was like kind of a prick sharon was okay but howard was really nice nick cannon a prick too but howard was like overtly nice to me for no reason and you probably like, wanted to leave his wife for you shit you think i missed my opportunity maybe i should have lost 40 you pounds you, before you, i went on the show you, damn it you Sharon's could be like, mrs stern right now i was going to go on his show <laughs> and like have him weigh me like he did anna nicole <gasps> <gasps> this was so scary this was austin They're shouting Vegas. They just want me to go through based on my looks. You look like you. (laughs) Oh my God. That's so ridiculous. That was great. You never know. They reached out to you. They reached out to me m- many seasons. And then, so, and then the fast talking was your skill? Like, what, they what's your sabotage. skill? America's Got Talent sabotages. And I saw a girl on TikTok go viral. She's an actual talented person. She she was like, sh- they they wanted her to like sing a pink song and look like pink. And she goes, mm-hmm. oh, I kind of don't want to because like, you know, I just want to show my talent. Mm-hmm. Anyways, like, no, you have to sing a pink song. So she sings a pink song. And then all the judges are like, you're trying too hard to be pink. Oh, be original. And the so girl went viral up. on TikTok because she's like, that's, she was like, she was traumatized after that because she's like an actually good singer. Oh, so, dirty. And honestly, they did that with me. I was so mad. So this is after um, I did a couple fast talking things, but this was after all that. And they were like, we want you on here to be like a fast talker. So they told me that I was going to do Star Spangled Banner. Like you're going to like talk as fast as you can. So in my head, I had that, whatever. They're like, no, 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 we're going to change it. We have a beat for you. Go out there and freestyle as fast as oh, you can. Oh, it's so dirty. <laughs> and they told Minutes. I waited six hours in in Austin, Texas. They flew me out. I waited six uh, that's hours. That's so fucked up. They are creating all these crazy situations. Oh, they, oh that's so dirty. So they like literally, literally minute before they're like, okay, change of plans. We don't have Star Spangled Banner approved, so you're gonna go out there and and freestyle. And freestyle. They're like, go as fast. Just talk as fast as you can over this beat. I was like, what? Like, <laughs> you know how fucked up that is because. <laughs> Yeah, I know. No, this. Yeah. Okay, the Star Spangled Banner people got uh, got back to us last minute. They gave us a no on that. Yo, because they they that's actually so exploitative. Because you showed up, you spent all this time. So if you're like, no, I'm not going to do that, then they're like, okay, go home. And I was in Austin, Texas. They flew me to Austin. Oh, brother. Because they didn't want me to be in LA. And then if you go on stage. That they fuck you. That's so messed up. They're humiliating these people. That I don't like that. No, they did it after my interview with Nick Cannon. So the interview with Nick Cannon, he's like, You're gonna go out there and be a fast talker. I'm like, Yeah. And then like they're saying it like as they're introducing you for the next person. And they're like, they're like, oh no, like they've already seen you, they already love you. Like they tell you, they hype you up as if you're gonna be good. In my head, 
I already kind of knew I was like obviously not going to win America's Got Talent with fast talking. I just thought it was like a good way yeah. again to see Howard Stern because they offered me this when Piers Morgan was the host, and I said no because I was like I don't want to be humiliated this early on in my career. Now I would be like whatever, fucking humiliate me. <laughs> but back then I still thought I could be taken seriously by like Quentin Tarantino. Maybe he put me in a movie. Now I was like oh fuck that. But. I went on because Howard was the judge. This was the first year he was a judge. And I was like, you know what? I'll do it this year because I, I really, truly, my heart thought Howard Stern would be like my best friend. Were you looking at him and trying to be like, like, put it on, put on the moves to him a little bit? Just I, like I didn't until I got humiliated. And then in my, like, my fight or flight was like, okay, Trish, make this really entertaining. Make this quirky. Here's your chance. Talk to Howard. And then it turned around and it was totally good in my favor. But well, you did have a good experience with Howard, actually. He was great. And he came on stage and danced with me. And it was, a, it was amazing. You work in Vegas. <laughs> really? I know. I get that a lot. So Oh so you're really funny. That was a good well, bet. What is your name? Thanks. Um, my can't. name is Trish Like Fish. Trish. And Trish my TikTok, you... Trish Like Fish 88. Trish Like Fish. <laughs> Trish, I, I'm fascinated. But that's like not funny. Like, people, why are people laughing? Uh, Trish, it is, it's goofy, <laughs> but like, I think what's happening here is that you're actually being really funny, and people, the way that you put it out, you put it like, oh, I'm just ditzy, and I'm and I'm just a dumb girl, but yeah. like, you're actually being funny. And so, and it gets lost, but like that's that's a great line. I think early on, like I definitely was like that high pitched voice. I wanted to be like Jessica <clears> Simpson. <throat> I was like, okay, I'm gonna be dumb, but like, I think like now, smartness pays off. I mean, I think I'm like dumb in some ways. Well, it's like whatever, but now I think I think I'm, people appreciate that you're actually a funny person now, which is good. Thank you. Oh my god, so many compliments this episode. It's true. You're hilarious. Can that be the title? Trisha's funny. No, absolutely not. Who's gonna click that? I don't know. You. <laughs> audience of one just to watch back funny. are you able to walk around and, and, and get a job i'm like a computer programmer but i work in my house That's so no one true. ever sees me i was a stripper and they told me to make up another job and at the time oh you are a stripper yeah <laughs> that's not true i love jesus see that's well i did love jesus why did you say you're a computer programmer they asked me to come up with another job and my brother was a computer programmer Oh my God. I think I was a waitress on Ellen. I but think you're I selling it so good. You're like, I sit at home, nobody sees me. I'm a programmer. <laughs> All right, what are you gonna do today? <laughs> I do YouTube. Um, I talk really fast, and like, I'm no. a rapper. Yes, a rapper. Oh, oh rapper. my God. You're not a. I can't believe they made you go out and say you're a rapper. <laughs> they told me last minute. They're like, they <laughs> love that you rap. Because oh, because at the time I did some videos where I thought maybe they saw it. I was like rapping to Nicki Minaj on the internet and like Twista and all these things, and I was like, oh, maybe they saw it. This is so embarrassing. Here we this go. Might be the most embarrassing. Oh. A rapper. <laughs> Wait. What are you reading? I'm what? not. This is off the top of my head. No way. Yeah, because when they told me this, I started thinking of all the things I could uh, rhyme. So I was like, you turn on your TV, you're watching EDT. Like, I'm just like trying to think of all No this way. Stuff. Seriously? Yeah, I mean, it's not good. <laughs> you're it's fast. Like this. No, but you're rhyming really fast. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hour. Right away. Dude, they fucking <laughs> Dude, they fucked you so hard. And look, hey. So I'm like, oh fuck. Oh, but it's fuck. not your fault. They they <laughs> screwed you. I'm like, oh, what do I do? Don't like me. Trisha, it was just annoying for me. Oh, it I'm was sorry. very annoying. It was it gave me a headache, and I'm uh, I'm not feeling well. Let's go to Sharon. Trisha. It's so messed up that they like they bring people out. And they humiliate them. Yeah, they definitely do that even with talented people. It's so people. messed up. Um, I, I'm not okay with this. There's twins on YouTube named Nikki and Gabby, and they also had they were on X Factor, and they had a very similar experience where they oh, so they changed the song last minute on them, and then they play the wrong track on purpose. <sighs> and they're good singers too. I'm not they're, cool, but yeah. it's not okay to bring people out and humiliate them like that. This is unethical. That's exploitative, and that <laughs> t reality TV kills. For sure, for uh, sure. I couldn't <laughs> understand anything you were saying. Yeah. Because it was that quick. I mean, I'm not really a rapper. Yeah. I just need to make up a talent to see how it starts. Oh, well, that's different. Now you're <laughs> See. So now the audience is like, woo! This was so odd, like the turn of events. On an all new. Oh, oh, they didn't show it? it. Okay. So whatever. it was such an odd turn of events because all of a sudden now everyone's like cheering and then he comes up on stage and dances with me and like they're trying to judge me. And it's like all of a sudden the crowd's like cheering. I'm like, what? This is. Yeah, do so I stay? Yeah. No, you can leave now. <laughs> no, I said that. I said, oh, like, am I going to go to Vegas? Because he's like, we're going to have a very nice day in the mental institution. Fast forward to 10 years later, I'm in a mental institution. Right. You called no, it, Howard. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Howard. <laughs> When she slammed girls who dress sexy, it sparked out. What? You told me to kill myself. And controversy. <laughs> Wait, you're on Doctor. Trigger you to say she's a loose woman. She's wearing the uniform. Move on. You were a trouble girl on Doctor Phil. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't. Doctor Phil.
was on my side. This guy hated me for dressing sexy, which I'm like, what? It was so weird. And Wait, Dr. Phil. How did you end up on Dr. Phil? They called me and said, there's a hater that wants to confront you on Dr. Phil. And I was oh, like, all right, cool. Oh, my <laughs> God. These shows are so outrageous. <laughs> they said someone hated me. So who's me. this guy? He didn't. He thought I dressed like a whore. And he just is a follower? <laughs> and you uh, got to come confront this weirdo? Yeah. Um, I was like, all right. <laughs> oh, I just my God. Okay. Dr. Phil was on my Wait, side. Shout out, Dr. Phil. They are trying to outdo <laughs> each other pretty in their sexuality. <laughs> Define who you are. You're going to decide what somebody should who wear. Who is this, this fucking is guy? censorship. <laughs> Fun fact about Dr. Drew, or Dr. Dr. Drew, Dr. Phil. I'm sorry, my mind's just always on Dr. Drew. Um, <laughs> uh, Dr. Phil, they they put me in a turtleneck when I got there. And then, because they told me to bring all conservative clothes, which I don't know why the whole point was me dressing sexy. And then as soon as I got, like literally seconds before, they're like, if she's not showing cleavage, she can't go out. So they had to like get like a like a low cut top for me and stuff like that. They're like, because I guess they wanted me to dress sexy, but then there was miscommunication. But I guess Dr. Phil. Someone said wear a turtleneck. Someone said wear a turtleneck. And then Dr. Phil's like, <clears throat> she needs to wear show cleavage. And so they're like, get a fucking shorter shirt. Oh, my God. What if this, you just wanted to stare at my cleavage, maybe? I can't. Dr. Phil is a creep. Sorry. He was also very cold. He was like looking at a corpse. Get her. What? What'd you say? He kind of was like looking at a corpse. He, the way he was made up looked like oh, a yeah. dead body. He's like. But in person, you know, when you see makeup in person, it's like so much worse. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, are you real? <laughs> Dr. Phil has fallen. Get this girl a look on top or she's not going out on TV. <laughs> Some crazy perverted outburst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is very. I'm outside. So you're. You should come out and get exercise in the floor. Ew, no, ew. Still, um, are not as interesting. Look at my mom being a trooper on um, everything for me. Yeah, your mom's <laughs> a trooper for like, sure. Is that on my other one? So I get them down here so they get a little color. Actually, I'll take that for So you're addicted to tanning? No, um, Were you really addicked to tanning? I don't remember. <laughs> you don't even remember. I think... Look, I was always really tan. I was always very tan. I liked tanning. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was like necessarily a problem where like I couldn't stop, but I definitely went to like five tanning beds a day and like spray tan and all that Holy stuff. Holy shit. So wait, how did you get hooked up with My Strange Addiction? Craigslist. <gasps> they found you on Craigslist? <laughs> I found them. They, they didn't say the name of the show because it didn't exist. This was the pilot episode when it was on Discovery Health. What was the description? They're like, oh, are you addicted to something? <laughs> I was like, yeah. Oh my God. They're like, the more bizarre, did the better. Did they pay you? $500. <clears throat> wow. They, my, my family always refuses to be on anything with me. So my mom's like the OG who will like be on TV with me. Like my sister refuses. My brother refuses. Shout out. I love supportive moms. <laughs> She'll be on anything. Supportive like, okay. moms are everything. She'll like go with anything. I think I made up. Oh, this addiction. So my mom was like, they told her to be like concerned. So my mom's like, I'm really concerned. <laughs> Meanwhile, look at my These mom. These shows are so dark. fake. I know so. your mom is just as good <laughs> as you are. She's like, I'm so concerned. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. Reality shows so fucked They're up. all fake. All of them. I just use my hand. Though. No, fine. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't do what is this? This looks like the beginning of a porn. <laughs> like, what the fuck is a show? It was super sketchy. It was like one producer and one camera person. They came to like our apartment to film. <laughs> wow. I thought it was super famous, though. I was like, oh, my God. Like, I have a reality. I wonder if they me. had even sold it yet. You know what I mean? If it was just a couple of dudes with a camera. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, bro. Because it was a pilot. So I think... You're pretty bold to show up to that. You, that could have gone wrong for you. Um, on Craigslist? Yeah, but you know what I always, I always say this. If something goes wrong, like if they murder me, I'll be infamous, you know? At that time, you thought even? Maybe like a Craigslist killer situation. Like they oh, found me on okay. Craigslist and, you know, they murdered me. And so you really justify it in your mind. Like, well, that'll be cool to be killed by a serial killer. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty fucked up. But interesting. Yeah. I got to hand it to you. You have a way of uh, comforting yourself. Yeah, I think it's great, you know? I watched Soul this past weekend on Disney, and they were talking about the afterlife and the great beyond, and I was like, honestly, you can just fly back to Earth once you're dead. I don't think so. I didn't watch that show. Okay. You, you believe in the afterlife? Yeah. What do you think the afterlife is? Like, fully conscious, you just zip around like a ghost? Uh, you have to watch the movie. I think we are... Oh, Soul nailed it. <laughs> so nailed okay. it. They really did. So nailed the afterlife. I think it's afterlife. what you make it. <clears throat> I think the afterlife is what you. So want if it I to watched be. Soul, the new Pixar film for kids, <laughs> then I will understand the afterlife. Yeah. Okay. Good. They also talk about before you come into life, like the the young souls. <clears throat> I gotta check that out. It's really good. I heard it got mixed reviews. Who said it was bad? Disney. Oh, it was Disney Pixar. 
Yeah, it is. It is? Yeah, oh, they bought Pixar. All right, go Disney. They should be tan because we do a lot of stuff together <clears> and we're always in pictures together and I just look bad. Did you put stuff on your face? No. This is her pretending to be concerned. <laughs> yeah, it's like, did you put but stuff it's on your tan. face? It's tan. If I take my makeup off, it will look stupid. Oh. Face. Like when my mom tells me stuff about my face and like Asian wrinkles, I'm not concerned about it. Why worry about something now that's not going to happen for a long, long time? I know, but with, when you have bronzer, that takes the place of the sun. So were they like, okay, now, now just be concerned. <laughs> yeah. Literally, they kept telling her, be like, aren't you just concerned she's not putting lotion on her face? This was so awkward. Just leading her. Our producer was horrible on this show. They were really bad. Wait, is that you or your mom? <gasps> Me. I just think it's because the tan. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's just the tan is so in uh, incredible. I was very, yeah. I was. <clears throat> he pointed to the double chin. I'm sorry. No, I did it. Don't drink. I don't do drugs. But I think everyone kind of has those little indulgences that they, you know, have. And I think tanning is just mine. So if the one unhealthy thing that I do is going to kill me, then oh well. It's because you guys don't have to think about your skin at a young age. What if I die tomorrow? It won't matter. Then will it? I know. You said you'll be happy because you're. Dude, your mom is hella tan. <laughs> She's very tan. She's still very tan. <laughs> so well. I'm sure I won't die from cancer. People Yikes. die every day from cancer, and, it, and people die from skin cancer. Yikes, I'm not laughing at that. I'm just like, ugh, cringe. I just feel like sometimes I yeah. go, because I feel like I gotta get away, get away, get away. Okay, what the fuck is this? Fuck back, I did have skin cancer. You did? Yeah. Where? In the, my lower back, they, like... I think, I think the scar is gone from my liposuction now when they did it, but they took out a little bit of skin cancer in my lower back. So I do spray tan now. I don't go in the thing, but... You're not tan like that. I mean, you look normal now. Well, now, but sometimes my spray tan, I get a little dark, like my Princess Jasmine cosplay, but... Um, oh, spray tan. Yeah, that doesn't count. Yeah, so... So you did have a little skin cancer. Yeah, That so, is a fun fact. Thanks for manifesting that, TLC. Right. That would <laughs> never have happened without that show. Who is this guy? Jason Horton. Oh. He's a good example of OG or YouTubers who just fade away. Does this really count as the media? Uh, no. I don't know why yeah. this is on the air. This like, this is, like, is some ghetto ass This is on Game Show Network, I guess. So, I'm me. Oh, okay. And okay. today's amazing guest, Trisha Paytas. Poor Jason Horton. He was so poppin'. And my YouTube channel is youtube.com slash blonde sundial. For MJ, and on that channel, I make TV videos, I make comedy videos, I make political videos. Political? Oh, yeah. I told you about that. What? I was on, like, Larry King and the Young Turks and stuff. I used to be political. You just made fun of me for being a controversial YouTuber. Because what was your I take? Were you liberal or uh, conservative? No, that's conservative. I was pushing <laughs> hard for Mitt Romney. <laughs> really? Mitt Romney? I think it's probably still up why I voted for Mitt Romney. I like Mitt Romney now. Yeah, I, it was called like the Aura or something. It was some show on YouTube he was hosting. You are a conservative pundit. Yeah, and I, I I would give my commentary on the debates. I'm sure it's still up somewhere. Fun fact: I never voted before this election. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> that is also a fun fact. So wait, even the political shows are fake. You got this girl pretending to care about politics who's never voted in her life. It was so odd, and they were asking me about the debates, and I never watched the debates, and I was like, mm, yeah. Wow. Think Mitt Romney is gonna send it home for us. Oh my god. Yeah. You know he wears magic underwear? What's that? He's Mormon. They wear magic underwear. Oh yeah, I know all about Mormon underwear. Have you ever had sex with a Mormon? To peel their magic underwear off? No. Actually, that's crazy. I've had sex with a Muslim, a Jew, Christian, <clears throat> but no Mormons. I guess they have standards because it's hard to like have sex with a Mormon. You have to find a really deviant one. You have to like marry yeah. them. Yeah. Or Even Donny Osmond, every time I take a picture with him, his hand hovers like this. Is it's he never Mormon? Like that. Yeah. Oh, really? Hardcore Mormon. Dude, the Mormons are wild. Yeah, they wear magic underwear, which is kind of dope. You know, just why not? Just I want to feel... try it for a TikTok. Should we get it for the next episode? Can you find some magic? Or is that disrespectful? I feel like that's probably disrespectful. You think? Uh, yes. Can we get married with a chuppah? Or do I have to be Jewish? No, you, I, I think you can. Oh, okay. Anyway. I think you can get a chuppah right. going. But don't... If, but also... Maybe wear magic underwear on your wedding night. But we're not Mormon. Yeah, but just, you know, who cares? Mormons, let us know if we can wear magic underwear, because I would just like to try it. It's not disrespectful. I want to try it. I don't think it's I don't think it's called magic underwear, by the way, either. So. I think it's like Mormon underwear or something. I've heard about it. This show's dumb. I don't like this show. Yeah, why are they showing this when I've been on, like, Modern Family, Tim and Eric? Like, I've been on, like, legit stuff. This, this list isn't good. Oh, Celebrity Big Brother, though, was kind of iconic. and I am an internet sensation Weird with shot. over 1 billion views. <laughs> this is the UK. What? So my videos are my life. Oh my I god. Yeah. Book. I talk about sex, I talk about love, how to lick your own vagina, world How to lick your layer. own vagina? Did you say that? Yeah, that was an Adam and Eve sponsor. How do you lick your own vagina? Well, they had a tongue vibrator back then, so I was talking oh, about how to lick it. Oh, it's just a gag? Yeah. Okay. 
I can't lick it actually myself. I was like, <laughs> something doesn't add up here. There is definitely no subject off limits to me. It's very dangerous to know me or even talk to me because you will be talked about on my channel. Hey. <laughs> Cringe. That's true. If I could describe myself in three words, it would be. I love the intro video. So what did they miss? There's some they missed. Um, I did the Tim and Eric show. I did Modern Family. Yeah. I did The Longest Yard with Adam Sandler. <laughs> Those are movies. I guess these are t our game shows. Yeah, or something. they just showed my yeah. reality show stuff. I did. I've done lots of stuff. I did. Oh, who wants to be a superhero with Stan Lee? I was on like seven episodes of that on Sci Fi Network when I was eighteen years old. Like, why are you doing that? You yeah. were like a mink. Yeah, I was a superhero. One of Stan Lee's superheroes, and then no I was way. on the Greg Barrett show when I was eighteen years old, co-hosting. Oh, that's why I got kicked off because I did not know my power. But I do know my powers now. My name was Miss Limelight. My powers were. You didn't know your power. You didn't prepare for the role. I got I, I got evicted for that reason. Stanley's like, you're a superhero, but you don't know your powers. Sorry, the light is dimmed on you, Excelsior. And then he like got rid of me. Wait, that was your character. So you all had to be superheroes on the show, and you were competing to get a comic book written by Stan Lee. And I don't know anything about superheroes. Oh, it was a reality show. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? It was called Who Wants to Be a Superhero? And so we had to compete. We went to Six Flags and would like do all these challenges and like these B things. Anyways, I was on for like four episodes and then, or five maybe. And then I got kicked off for not knowing my superpowers. And I don't really know my superpowers. I'm sure it's online. My name was Miss Limelight. Who Wants to Be a Superhero? Look up my superpowers. Mrs. Limelight. They made it up for me. I had no interest in superheroes or anything. I was like, I don't even know why I'm here. And all the other people <laughs> were nerds on the show like you. They were all like, hey, is he Spider Man? Like I was like, eh. yeah. Anyways, um, I've been on like legit stuff. So, so what is there anything else to left to talk about? This was kind of just oh. a little. This was just a fun little app, you know. It's not that serious. <laughs> Ethan slept in, so he had nothing planned. The, the one is not related okay. to the other. And by the way, what did you plan? What do you plan? I can plan something. I am all. Do? I'm always telling you to plan something. Mormon underwear next week. I'll bring it. And we can't wear Mormon underwear. Okay, next episode: Mormon underwear, grilled cheese mukbang, and trivia pop culture edition. Okay, are you gonna do? You oh, you like that? Thank you. So we're going to put on Mormon underwear. Mormons, write us back if we can do that, because I have a feeling that's... I think that's it's okay if we're, if we're appreciating and not appropriating. But the thing is, the, the, the Mormons, it's like, eh. um, what I are they going to do? They're so, like, pacifists. You know what I mean? Um, I got offered... So there was this company I was going to work for, like, a sponsorship, like, my TikToks and my YouTube channel. And I love the company. I, like, wear their clothes and stuff for real. Like, I actually buy, like, you can attest to it. Like, I actually buy, like, thousands of dollars worth of clothes from them, like, a month, like, because they're cheap and they're great. And, um, they're, like, they had a phone call with them. And they're really lowball at first. But then they came back and they're, like, um, what do you think if we can, like, do a promotion on, like, frenemies? I'm, like, oh, I can put you in touch with Ethan. Like, he deals with it or whatever. They're, like, oh, well, what if you just, like, mention our name and not really do a plug? So they wanted me to just mention the name organically. Oh, what <laughs> slime bags? And I was, like, well. I don't know. I feel kind of weird. Like if I'm just like plugging it, like if I'm like, hey, this is from whatever. And um, but they were trying to like wheel that into the deal. Like they were basically like, okay, we can give you a little bit more money, but also can we get a shout out on front of me? But they didn't want to go through you or like get a traditional shout oh, out. Oh, what they were just, like, just mentioned And I told them, I talked to Moses. I'm like, should I do it? Like it's just like I like to say is their name once, and then they're like, okay. That's pretty slimy. Thanks for telling me. Bad, but yeah, then... because I probably would have noticed. <laughs> no, because I mentioned them once on the show, and they said that they're like you. And I, I wasn't for a sponsorship. I literally said. Did they? Like... Did you end up closing the deal? No, no, I didn't. I was gonna say you can say the name. <laughs> this is my deal. I this is my. This way is the deal. Eating. They owe you for this. It's okay. What's the name? <laughs> what if I actually did the deal with them, and I'm like, this is how I work it into the show. <laughs> Close the deal first. Clo oh, I don't, know, oh no. I, pay up, you motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, no. Really no, nice. that's they're... that's super no, no, it's sketchy. Totally... <laughs> Just they're mention... a big company. They sponsor tons. I mean, they have, so why are they, they so cheap? They don't they're want. Like they don't want me to get a taste of the action. <laughs> That's and I thought funny. about it for a minute, and then was like, "You can't do that." Honestly, like, okay. honestly, if you told me and you're like, "They just want me to mention it," I would be fine with it. But I appreciate you telling me. Thanks. I just had like, you know, next week I'm going to promote my music video and my own clothing. So I was just like, you know, let me just like not get all these sponsors right here. Yeah. I'll just save it for myself at the top of the show next week. Of your show. Of our show. Are you going to plug them next show? No, no, no. I have a music video coming out next week that I want to plug. And yeah. so I was like, let me just save the plug for something that save I'm Save the doing. plug. I have a Teddy Fresh plug coming up. I guess that's one maybe. Okay. We'll do a mutual plug. Okay. We'll just do like a plug episode. We should do an episode <laughs> that's just plugs. <sighs> Yeah, honestly, like they were really like a low ball too, and I was like, I could. How much they offer you? It was like forty thousand, but it was like it's a lot. Ten TikToks, ten YouTube videos, ten Instagram. Oh, that's insane! <laughs> yeah, that's it crazy. crazy. No, it's and you have to whisper our name into the mic during friend <laughs> meets when Ethan's not listening. No, they said that they're like, what if we can just naturally put it in there? <laughs> oh, that's a horrible deal. And I like because I did mention it was for 
was like, oh, me They're too. like, you have to do everything for us forever, and we'll give you $40,000. Oh, I can't imagine the Kardashians do that. They probably paid a million no. dollars yeah. for them. The Kardashians don't fart unless they get paid a million bucks. Yeah, maybe next time. I don't like them. Is it Fashion Nova? It was Fashion Nova. <laughs> Fucking scumbags. Did you talk to them before? No, no but we I just love see. Fashion I, Nova, I, no, I do fuck for their Fashion Nova. They, go up to five they make cheap garbage. <laughs> they cater to plus size. Cheap garbage. I love it. All from. F- we give them the plug now. Yeah. So, I swear I didn't get any money from No, them. I only said Fashion Nova because I see them all over Instagram and people are like, Fashion Nova. I love Fashion Nova. I was like, what is with this Fashion Nova bullshit? You so know I what I like is it that. is really cheap and it does go for plus size and they don't make you wear a I, new I am against fa- fast fashion. It's very bad for the world. And usually they steal their designs too from other people. Um. Well, I mean... That's not my problem. I don't want to. F- nope, not your problem. I'm not trying but to fuck up like, your deal. I I'm like just Teddy saying. Fresh has been accused of stealing some designs from. Really? Like, hmm, I don't I think, think like so. Early on, it was very Gucci esque. Oh well, esque is not stealing. Well. By the way, if somebody's gonna say you're Gucci esque, that's a compliment. Hmm. Well, the designs look very similar early on. I love Teddy Fresh. It's become its own thing now. I love it. Really? The, early, it. the beginning ones were super unique and weird. Hmm. Yeah. No, but they, so these fast fashion companies, they literally do like what James Charles did, but even worse. They just mass produce, they rip off the I'm not so against it because like, where are you going to buy a Kim Kardashian Versace dress? You know, like, might as well get it from Fashion Nova. It's not like Versace's hurting. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. They do sometimes rip off like small yeah. designers. Yeah, oh no, for and sure. I've seen that. that. Forever 21 does that too. Yeah, I know. They all do it. It's horrible. Mm. They haven't ripped off Teddy Fresh though. No, not really. So, no beef. We're friends of the show. Fashion oh, Fashion Nova? Nova? I don't show. know. I don't like them. They try to fuck me. You, they got to pay up. They got to wet my beak. Are you going to bleep it? No. Gonna bleep the- <laughs> I want Fashion Nova to know that they got to email me and pay up. I like Fashion Nova. They have discount codes. They do do plus size. They do have fast fashion. It's Wait, now what the <laughs> fuck? Why are we doing an actual plug I, now? I promise you I didn't get any money. If what I the did, fuck was you. that? <laughs> That was a total plug. I promise. I'm not even wearing Fashion Nova. This is Dolls Kill. This is Misguided. Like, there's no Fashion Nova. And what's Nova your code? I want a code, but they usually do have codes. If you go to their website, 70% off. Like, Stop! <laughs> this is a plug. I promise you. I'm 70, not- 70, don't go to Fashion Nova. They're, <clears throat> they are criminals. They're not criminals. You don't want to be sued. They're criminals. Might be. I don't know. Don't have evidence of it, but. You don't want to talk about any of the TikTokers, so you can headline that for your highlights channel. Say what? <laughs> What'd you say? You don't want to talk about any TikTok stuff? Oh, what do you want to talk about? I'm not I'm not aware of any TikTok drama. Where have you been? The hype house is getting sued. Noah Beck said not a big deal that they went to the Bahamas. Like there is a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, they went to the Bahamas. There's no, but so- the hype house got sued for um uh, was it the to- uh, li- yeah, Tony Lopez and Little Huddy and Thomas Petro or whatever oh, so, the guy is. So I did read about that. That guy, Tony Lopez, is such a creep. Yeah, like he's actually like sexy. He's minor, such a weirdo. Yeah. So they're suing him, and then I guess all of his friends who little putty. They weren't accused of anything, but they were named in the lawsuit, I guess, for... Um, yeah, I don't really know exactly. But Tony Lopez, like, actually was, like, sexting minors and... But whenever I see his TikToks, I go, oh, this guy's such a fucking How weirdo. How is he, like, still around and Let me show you this. Old. Let me show you this one TikTok I saw that was literally on my, pa- on my page. On your For You page? On my For You page. I don't watch Tony Lopez. Look at this. <laughs> Ew. Uh, uh. How is that allowed on TikTok? How is that allowed on TikTok? It, I was like, bro, you better not show me this shit TikTok again. Did you put that like not interested? How does he have a TikTok when he's actually sexting minors? Like, how is that a thing? Yeah, it seems like he actually. So, so yeah, Tony Lopez is disgusting. I don't know what's the deal with James. No, James Charles didn't go to the Bahamas, but like the D'Amelio family, her parents, their parents are such. <laughs> Idiots. Yeah, they, everyone was saying they should Why go goblins. to the airport and on airplanes and like right now of all times. Do you want to watch Noah Beck's response to it? Yes, please. I love Trisha. This is why you got to bring <laughs> preparation because I'm not totally in tune. Why, why you can't expect me to be prepared? Okay. I love talking about this stuff. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh wait, that's just my TikTok. Okay. You guys are getting a lot of backlash for going to uh, Bahamas. What do you think about that? How do I pause? Okay. Sleeveless hoodie is the worst garment a man can wear. This guy. Yeah. After watching this, like, might be, like, the dumbest person on planet Earth. Yeah, he does strike me as a No, dumb. but, like, yeah. really dumb. Like, almost like he needs to have a caregiver. 
to like watch out for him. You know what I mean? Like I'm kind of like it's like not fair that he's on social he's, media. He's the type of dude like in Zoolander who would be pumping gas into his car and being like having a water fight. For sure. Oh my you know? god. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. It is what it is. You know, like it is know. what it is. You heard it <laughs> here. Think, especially like in the business that we're in, I think yeah. that it's like you need you need some time to kind of. Disconnect below, you know. In the business oh, that we're in, you, you need time to disconnect. You fucking idiot. <laughs> the, the, your life as a TikToker is the hardest profession. Yeah, okay, wait, it gets worse. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what that was meant for. It was mm -hmm. just a little trip to get away, like, mm -hmm. wanted to get away from everything. You and, like, fucking <laughs> idiot. We took a private jet. Yeah. So it was just us. Okay. That's not the point. You're spreading by going from country from LA, which is a high COVID case, to another country that doesn't get tested as much with COVID. It's like you're spread. It doesn't matter if you're on a private jet. You're still around people in the resort. Your fans, you were taking pictures with fans with no masks on. Like, you're an idiot. It's not the private jet that is worried about yeah, getting I COVID. Just, I can't get over the fact that he, in his profession, he just needs. That's what that was Like, for. dude, you're you're not a doctor. <laughs> you're not a fucking, you make TikToks at home, you fucking idiot. And you, like, live in, like, a $5 million house with, like, a pool. It's like, you're, you're probably fine. It's dude, you are so, that is, like, the most deluded statement of this decade. Our Christmas, we didn't see anyone. We didn't see my sister. We didn't see my mom. We saw nobody on Christmas because of all this. Like, we know people personally that have had COVID and it's like in the hospital. About and my, it, so. listen, in our profession, we are the hardest work. We Ew. are under the, so much stress. Yeah, doctors are doing, doctors and frontline <laughs> workers and nurses are having a hard time, but I just had to take it off to the Bahamas and kill it. I, and by the way, if a few people in the Bahamas die, I mean, does anyone really care? <laughs> nobody knows. Yeah. It's so, like, it's just, like, it's, I don't know, whatever. I just, it gets me, like, so mad because these people are so stupid. And it's, like, uh, this is what I'm saying. These people don't deserve it because they're so, like, self-absorbed. He's they very young, in. though, but whatever. You got to own You got to own it, bro. Don't be such an idiot. I blame the parents at that age. Bad parenting. I mean, but they're old enough to know. It's, like, you know, 19. Like The Dixie parents know. went. I mean, they enable it. It's, like, oh, well, these adults think it's fine, so must be. I don't know. I was seeing if I had any other... <laughs> dramas to talk about so do you but... think uh, donald trump should be impeached what <laughs> wow you really <laughs> what, what about the 25th amendment what is that it's when they revoke they say you can't be president any longer because you're unfit to serve mentally you know what i will say was unfair to trump mm -hmm. like twitter like freedom of speech yeah but so you're missing a huge piece of the puzzle Probably, because I don't know anything yeah. about it. <laughs> he, he incited a riot. and He did. Oh, yes. he started the Capitol riots. Yes. How? By telling them to do it. Oh, he did? So he, he, he held a huge rally outside. He held a huge rally one hour before they voted to certify uh, Biden. Mm -hmm. And he basically riled them up, said it was stolen, and then told them to march on the Capitol. And they, they marched to the Capitol. Five people died. Two officers died. And they... It was insane. It was crazy. They were there with zip ties. They were trying to kidnap, um, like, Sp Nancy Pelosi. They were trying to kidnap her. And uh, and then Trump, while it was happening, Trump refused to call in the National Guard to help them. And he was, like, watching on the TV, loving it, and refusing to send in the National Guard. And the vice president and the speaker had to eventually go behind his back and do it. Yikes. It's all on the television. It sounds like the plot to Borat. Remember when he tried to kidnap Pamela Anderson with that bag in the book signing? Right. So Twitter banned Trump. It's not a First Amendment thing. He literally is a danger to to himself and others. Why wasn't he 5150 then? Good question. Because that's what happened. That's what the 25th is. It's a 5150 for the president. It is. Really? Yeah. Mm, I guess he is the president. Yeah, it's tricky. Is he still the president? He is the president until the 25th. Do you think he'd come on the show or no? Like Trump? serious question? Yeah, he'd come on. Because he's like he likes like attention. Trump would definitely come on Frenemies. <laughs> he's banned from YouTube. Yeah, he needs a platform. Oh, he can be on our show though. Like, yeah, because we're hosting it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have uh, I'll have Ian <laughs> reach out. <laughs> Interesting. Um I I don't know. I'm uh, not do you have a Trump Mark supporter. Meadows? Do you have Mark Meadows email? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a Trump supporter. All I'm saying is like, it's just Twitter. But I guess, did he incite it on Twitter or he incited it in real life? Both. Mm. He was How using the platform. Both? Oh. He was posting videos. So during the riots, he was posting videos to Twitter being like, the election, listen, 
you guys have to be peaceful, even though the election was stolen. They stole it from us. This has never happened before. Uh, the, you know, he was he was and he was drumming them up. Mm. Mm -hmm. There's a lot. I would. I would How come they don't ban me for sh like squirting on Twitter? They're like, that's fine. And that's sexual. You're not trying to kill people. You don't think I'm inciting? I feel like I incite a lot of hate. You're inciting with riots with <laughs> squirting? People get so mad. Like they threaten Well, to that's not your in intention. Right. Yeah, oh, you think it was like his problem. intention to start a riot? Maybe Definitely. he was just passionate. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. So, like, I don't support Trump, but. No, he's fucked. His life is ruined. It's crazy. Um. Yeah, there's a TikToker who supported who said she voted for Trump and then like everyone canceled her and then she came back and was like, oh no, like I don't care about politics and now she's like, fuck you guys, like I support Trump and then they canceled her again. By the way, I'm not mad at people that supported Trump. There's nothing wrong with voting for Donald Trump. Right. That, I'm not mad. I get that. That was half the country. You don't like him personally. I don't like him personally, but like he represents a lot of conservative ideas that people identify with and so they vote for him and and even if you like him that's fine i'm i, I think that that there you have no blame you there's nothing wrong with the fact you voted for trump i think now that all this has happened it's important to just kind of okay can i change my stance on yeah. this i you should look into it before you change your stance no i was gonna say i don't like trump anymore i don't think i don't think i have empathy for him a little bit you just just watch the news no for more an empathy. Hour. i have no more empathy for him i don't like him actually okay thank you we did it, guys. No, but can I just say, getting banned on Twitter is like getting banned on Instagram. It really doesn't matter. They were both dying anyways. Dude, Twitter, uh, Trump getting banned on Twitter is like life ruining for him. That is crazy. Just go on TikTok. TikTok banned him. Facebook banned him. Instagram banned him. Twitter banned him. Shopify banned him. PayPal banned him. No, he's like canceled. YouTube <laughs> they banned canceled him. canceled the president. And then what was yeah, crazy yeah. is that now the PGA Tour said that they're canceling all events at Trump golf courses. Mm -hmm. He is so fucked. They edited the part out with Donald Trump in Home Alone 2 over Christmas. Did you see that on TV? Oh, yeah. No, really? No, I saw it on the website. They cut it out. Yeah. And that, were you I saying? People were trolling with that. Well, oh, maybe they were. I mean, I didn't. That I was sitting there watching it. Th I, I haven't seen it. Oh, it was either. a joke. Because everyone was saying that they cut it out, which they kind of should. We don't want to incite more riots with him and Home Alone, too. That's the last thing America needs. <laughs> We're trying to recover. We cannot have Donald Trump and Home Alone, too, people. I love The Celebrity Apprentice. I used to want to be on that show so bad. I've never even watched a single episode. Was it a good one, really? Yeah. Oh, mm. I loved it. I loved mm. it. It was so good. Um, it's my dog. Is what that, is he doing? He's itching. Oh, my God. Going to oh, wow. town. Um, well, I, I, I don't support Trump. Please watch the news because this is a very important time to be alive. Just for an hour. Are you talking to me personally or the yes, viewers? Yes, to you personally. Probably not. Okay. I tried. <laughs> you think it's a good time to be alive? Is that what you just said? No, I said it's a, it's a, it's very, this is, the, what's happening now is something that people will talk about for the entire history of America. I am tired of living through historical events. Like, I don't yeah. want to do it anymore. Yeah. Like, September 11th was traumatizing. You know, and now we have a pandemic. Like, I don't want to live through these historical events. Well, you know what Gandalf said to Frodo? He said, uh, let me look it up. Exactly. Pop culture loser right here. You don't know anything about it. I haven't even seen Lord of the Rings and I know the quote. What is it? Who are the two characters? Because I can probably tell you what the quote is. What's Gandalf the quote what? to, to, to uh, Frodo? Shit, I really don't know this movie at so all. So what the fuck? Why are you flexing? You don't even know what the fuck I'm well, talking about. you know the movie and you don't even know. I wish it need not have happened in my time, said Frodo. And so do I, said Gandalf. And so do all who see such times. But that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what we do with the time that is given to us. Do you think I'll go in the history books? I mean, let's be real. Probably not. You don't think so? I won't. I mean, but we might have a movie made after us. Maybe me. No. You don't think there'll be a movie? You have a lot of me? work to do if you want a movie. That sounds like like your neighbors having sex when you live in a crappy apartment. <laughs> yeah. You guys having sex down there? Where's the Papa John sign? Why do you have that over there? It's a long story. Can I have it? No. Why? Why do you want Where'd it? Where'd you mine. get it? Did you it's steal none of your business. Did you steal Why it? Why do you want it? We got it on Craigslist. Papa John sucks. Domino's is better. All right, this show's over. We're out of juice. Is there any other TikTok drama you want to talk about? Oh, um, no, I think that's it. Okay. So Follow next me on TikTok, just like Fish88. Fashion Nova, thank you so no, much. No, stop. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Fashion fucking Nova. <laughs> Such weirdos. Fuck Fashion Nova. <laughs> Fuck them. What did they sponsor us? If they sponsor us, then I'll be friends with Fashion Nova. But the way they're trying to snake in is some bullshit. I don't um, know how I feel about sneaking them in. I didn't get paid for it, but I kind of feel like I accomplished a goal that I didn't think I'd be able to accomplish. But then also, I'm not getting paid for it, so I kind of feel bad. You got to tell them. Try this. Be like, yo, I mentioned you. You owe me. <laughs> you shut it down on the whole time. Send them an invoice. Oh, yeah. Send them, just send them an invoice. <laughs> okay. Fuck Fashion Nova. Here's the invoice. <laughs> All right. Um, anyway, so music next video next week. My music video will be out next week. Uh, Sad Boy 2005. Next week we'll plug it. We don't have to do it now. Next week we're gonna do trivia, grilled cheese, and magic underwear. Magic underwear. Mm -hmm. Mormons, tell us if we can do the magic underwear. Am I? Am I? Do I have to get the stuff around, or can we ha rely on the production team? We can rely on the production, <laughs> oh, but I'm not okay. sure I like this idea. I love this idea. Call okay. it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm really bad. The at biggest that. trivia show, uh, Trisha's Revenge. Trisha's Trivia Revenge. Can we? Should we bring some cash in, like some like uh, like a thousand? I like that idea. Yeah. Okay. Just. Okay. All right. Thanks but for watching. But you can't know. You can't know the answers. I. What the fuck? Did what? you see all my Jew stuff on here? My Hand of God. My Star of David. We went to the falafel truck, and all the Israelis loved me. They're like Trisha. We invited him to the wedding. Why they know who you are? Yeah, they got really excited. And then I had my Israeli boyfriend to flex with, like, babes, we keep root of them. Very cool. Okay. All right, guys. Bye. See you next week. <laughs>